Hello everyone, I'm Kong Chan. Welcome back to my FB Live, the hour before midnight basic accounting. Right, hope everyone has a good day today. All right, today let us explain about, uh, or explore about the, what are the challenges that we face uh, when uh, accounting for cryptocurrencies in the financial statements. Yeah. So cryptocurrencies uh, such as Bitcoin uh, have uh, generated a significant uh, amount of interest lately. And uh, however, there are currently no accounting standards that uh, specifically to address this uh, cryptocurrency. Yeah. So therefore, how do we recognize, how do we measure, how do we disclose the transaction within the cryptocurrencies are facing some challenges as uh, everything is debatable at this point of time. All right. So in this session, um, don't expect that uh, there is a clear cut answer to the issues surrounding cryptocurrencies. Um, that's why I term this as a challenging, all right? Challenging of uh, recognizing, uh, or rather, uh, the challenges in accounting when looking at cryptocurrency. Okay. So before we discuss the challenges, perhaps I will um, uh, quickly share with you. Um, two of the frequently used terms in cryptocurrency. Number one is actually what is a coin? What is a token? All right, a coin is generally uh, refers to a cryptographic asset uh, that act as a medium of exchange. Okay, well, whereas the token refers uh, to an asset that um, gives a holder uh, additional functionality, and usually the rights of the token is uh, typically set out in the white paper. Okay, so the coin is actually a medium exchange, whereas the token is actually the additional functionality. All right, um, and the next thing is uh, what about the ICOs, which is also called the initial coin offering. Okay, this means that the um, developers of a, a crypto platform actually to sell the tokens or coins to investors uh, usually has a form of fundraising. So when a when an ICO is undertaken, the issuer usually receives cash. Okay, uh, or other form of a cryptographic asset as well, for example, Bitcoin. So that the, in exchange, the developer might issue or promise uh, to issue a digital token to the parties to access the platform eventually, all right, instead of issuing shares. Okay, so, um, so now what is the common challenges as the holder as well as the issuer uh, of uh, cryptocurrencies for accounting purposes? Yeah. So uh, if your business, your company uh, is the holder of a cryptocurrency, so how should you account this um, particular cryptocurrency in your financial statements if you have one of them? Okay. When you pay for the cryptocurrency, uh, that is quite easy. You, your bank account will be depleted and uh, that's easy to account for it. Basically, you just uh, have to take a, a record that your account, your bank account has actually been used up. However, what about a corresponding entry? All right. Uh, what is the cryptocurrency means to your company? Okay. Uh, is it a cash? Is it a fixed asset? Or is it a inventory? Or maybe even is it a tang intangible asset to your company? Okay. Some people may be uh, debating that it should be a cash to your company when you buy a cryptocurrency. However, uh, cryptocurrencies do not have the common characteristics of, of cash. Um, as there is no legal tender and mostly are not backed by any government or state. So uh, the characteristic wise may not, uh, uh, may not form, uh, may not actually um, define it as a cash right, for accounting purposes. So uh, how about can it be a fixed asset? Okay, so definitely not based on accounting standard uh, governing governance, uh, the recognition of fixed asset because they are not a tangible asset. So fixed asset is definitely out. Uh, but what about inventory? Can it be inventory in your company? Okay, well, inventory can uh, may be appropriate if your business hold the cryptocurrencies to, to sell as the ordinary uh, cost of your business. Okay, uh, meaning you purchase them with a view uh, to resell them in the near future and uh, generating profits from the fluctuations uh, of, the, of the market price. Uh, then probably the answer is yes, it can be inventory. However, if your company holds the cryptocurrencies for investment purposes, all right, then uh, over a long-term basis, then this would not be likely to be meet the definition of uh, inventory in the accounting standard. All right. So there's a lot of uh, scenarios which you have to actually have to look into it 
in detail if you are actually holding a cryptocurrency in your company. All right. So now let's look at the, the other aspect, which is uh, in turn, we look at the issuer of the cryptocurrency and what are the challenges facing uh, the accounting for, for the issuer. Okay. So um, when the developer actually issue the ICOs, the, the initial coin offering for a consideration in, in usually, let's say it's hard cash. So uh, they usually uh, receive the cash for the purpose of fundraising to develop the software platform. All right, uh, which when it's developed, uh, the, the, the token holders can actually uh, access the platform. So the developer will actually host the platform for the token holders. So now you could record, now when you, when you actually, um, uh, what I call, issue or rather uh, initial coin offering being issued uh, to the holders. So you could record the cash, all right, that you receive into your bank account. And again, that's quite simple that you are recording a cash that you receive for these purposes. But uh, the key challenge again is the determining the accounting uh, entry for the ICO token that you issue. All right. So the question now is, uh, is it a financial liability to your company? All right. Meaning that your company has contractual obligation to deliver cash or something to another en entity. Or could it be an equity instrument to your company? Meaning that you have to give the token holder the rights to your company's profits or dividends, okay? Or can it be also revenue or sales to your company, okay? Or does it give rise to a provision in, a, in your company because of a legal or constructive obligations to the subscriber, okay? So there are many, many uh, different scenarios that you really have to uh, look at it carefully. So it's always advisable when you have uh, facing with such a uh, situation or looking at cryptocurrency, it is advisable to look at the characteristics uh, surrounding the tokens. Okay. And uh, we should also carefully apply all the principle based approach by referring to the right accounting standards. Because let's say if it's a sales, you make sure that the, the principle uh, behind the uh, sales accounting standards are being met. Or if it, let's say it's an inventory, you make sure that the uh, the principles behind um, the accounting standards of inventory is met or, or for, for any other thing, if, even like, um, well, it's going to be financial liability, equity, all right? Make sure that all these have, uh, uh, if, in order for you to recognize them in the respective areas, you make sure that the principles behind the, the um, accounting standards are applied correctly based on the characteristics of the tokens, okay? Um, so these are the issues surrounding the cryptocurrencies currently and um, yeah, so we shall see what it can be de developed further uh, in future. Uh, hopefully there's something that's, uh, there's no accounting standards surrounding it currently. So let's hope there's something uh, that we can all look forward to in future. All right. So uh, that's all I have for you today. So uh, thank you all again for watching. So uh, please continue with your lifelong learning because power is in your knowledge. All right. Goodbye and good night, everyone. Bye-bye.